Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I don't usually scream on Fridays. Unusual for me. But I really wanted to play this demo. Uh, we're going to be playing some Gales of Naeli today. Uh, this is, I think, my most anticipated uh, upcoming SRPG. Um, I'm going to map my controller real quick because I don't think I did that. Or can I map my controller? Maybe I just played this with keyboard last I think I played this with keyboard last time, actually. Which is fine. No, don't quit the game. Uh, revert. Okay. New game. Uh, so we're, you know, we're experienced SRG, SRPG players here. I believe I played the last demo on Madman and that was fine. So we're going to start this one on Madman 2. So first thing we're going to be doing is making our avatar. We've got a few options to choose from. Spellcaster, Archer, Rogue, and Adventurer. Uh, my favorite last time was Spellcaster, so we're going to be doing that again. And we also get to pick a boon. Let's see. One of the things I like that they did here was each boon gives you two stats. Which makes for like kind of an interesting balancing lever, I think. Um, I want the speed. Let's double. And we'll go he, him for our pronouns. And we'll move forward with this character. Hey, B-Train. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, we're going to do no gameplay modifiers for now. I do want to talk about what the gameplay modifiers are. I guess I should have shown them. Um, the gameplay modifiers are a bunch of options uh, that let you change a bit how the game plays. Uh, like, there's one for 0% growths. Ooh, Lazard. We want Lizard. Uh, there's one for 0% growths. There's one for... Um, enemies getting stronger the longer you stay on a map. Just ways you can kind of spice up a run. Uh, and I really like that that's here. Uh, you can see my 37 second save that I made just to make sure the uh, demo was working earlier. <laughs> hey, Blind Coco. Hope you're doing well today. Over here, I see someone. Huh? Is he dead? I don't think so. He's still holding on to his primal tome fairly, bleh, pretty firmly. Try poking him with a stick. Daisy, I'm not sure that would help. Oh, look, he's waking up. Are you awake? We found you unconscious in the forest. I'm glad to see you're okay. I'm Naeli, and this is Daisy. You better watch yourself. I've got a mean right hook, and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, don't mind her. She means well, but she's a bit cautious, shall we say. Hey, you never know when you'll need to defend yourself. Here, let's get you back on your feet. And there you go. Not very talkative, are you? Suspicious. Huh? What was that? Are those woodland critters? They were so friendly just a moment ago. What could have happened? I don't know. And I'm not too eager to find out. Just make them stop. We can't just leave them there. If we do, they'll find their way back to the village. We have to fight them. Stay behind me, Daisy. We got this. Hey, I can help too. Don't forget to come see me if you need some healing. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Alright, if we're fighting on the same side, I guess I can share some of my top-tier tips with you. This is Naeli. She always carries her wind spear around, which is perfect to fight enemies with high physical defense like those pesky beetles. She's also pretty good with that sweeping move of her. She dashes in and out so quickly that her opponent can't even react to it, let alone land a counterattack. That's me. I'm Daisy. I'm a pretty good healer if I do say so myself. I can also fight with light magic, but please don't put me on the front lines. One big hit with a sword and I'm toast. I can help protect nearby allies, though, so it'd be best if I stay near at least a few friends. Don't leave me alone out there, okay? She says that, but I know I am immediately sending her to this flower. And this is you, obviously. Hmm, let's see what we have here. Are those primal tomes? Neat. You can focus for a bit to increase your next spell's power. The greater the focus, the bigger the damage. But make sure not to get so lost in your books. If you get engaged in combat, you'll lose your focus. Even if you don't get a hit in yourself. 
Now let's get this whole situation sorted. Um, you can go in front if you're so com confident. All right, let's look at our skills here. Daisy can pick up items from flowers. She gives allies three protection during battle. Um, and she has Kanto, okay. She's got some effective weapons. She can't do follow-up attacks and she has a heal. One, two range, uh, pretty squishy. One defense, 18 health. Hey, Drum, hope you're doing well tonight. Let me at him. Um, by the way, if anyone wants to try the uh, demo for themselves, you'll find a link to it in the video description. So let's send her over to the flower and see what we get here. Ooh, big old stat booster. We love that. The winds guide me. All right, we're going to do what the demo told us and use the wind spear on the beetle. Uh, but let's look at what uh, Naeli's got going on. Immune to crits. Uh, we love a lord that's immune to crits. God bless. Hi, Pete. You, you don't like durability? I don't think durability is so bad. Uh, gives allies two power and ten avoid during battle. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so it has ranged, but it can't double when you attack at range. Neat. I like that. I don't like when 1-2 range is too crazy. I don't know if these guys move. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop here and we're going to focus. Dark Fairy. Dispel. Can't make follow-up attacks. Effective against magic wielders. Alright, so I don't want to fight this one. Uh, 16 res. So if we fight her, we probably want to do it at melee range. Um, we use the wooden spear. Her attack is 20. Naeli's attack with the wooden spear is 21. So she can one-shot. Just make sure that it's not like a problem where she's going to get whacked by a bunch of critters. Only two would be able to reach her. They have 13 attack, and she has four defense, so she would take. She would be okay, Backwards. if my math is correct. If it's not, I'll be a little embarrassed. Oh, right, we have combat arts. Um, so yeah, let's use this with the wooden spear. Perfect. Good job, Naeli. I'll move you over here just to make sure these guys can't get at you. You have effective damage against spirits, but how much damage do you do? Alright, you do five. But you don't have any resistance. So I think this is fine. Okay, this is we're, we're gonna learn if effective web damage is um, double or triple real quick. Okay, it looks like it's double. Can she take one hit from the wolf? Speed of eight. Yeah, she can. Oh, this one's effective against bugs. God bless. It's 1.5 power before mitigation. Oh, like on your total damage? Like it's 1.5 times the whole damage, not just the might of the weapon? That would make sense. That would be how we get 12. Yeah. Because she has 8 before effectiveness. He's got 0 res. So yeah, 12. Ma he has 1-2 range? Okay, it's fine. We're fine. But I didn't check that. Whew! That could have been bad.
Wait, the little sound their little feet make. That's so cute. They're just little guys. It's almost a shame to kill them. But not so much of a shame that I'm not going to do it. Oh, interesting. I can get uh, additional range out of my combat art. Thirteen damage. Um, so we need to be a little careful. So he has four move. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is a safe square. Can't keep up. Oh, you're fine, fairy. Nice. Phew, I think that's all of them. Yeah, I'm spent. I need to catch my breath. That's right. Let's go somewhere safer. We have much to discuss. Are you two alright? Good. We're quite lucky, it seems. You arrived just in time to help us fend off these monsters. Who knows what could have happened if their numbers had grown any larger before they reached the village. While I do appreciate the assistance, I must ask, where are you from? Maybe that was too forward of me. We've only just met, after all. I don't know. I don't trust this guy. Yeah, sure, he helped us fight the monsters, but maybe he brought them there in the first place. I can't imagine that's the case, Daisy. What makes you say that? The spirits of the forest have always been peaceful. But then this stranger shows up, and then the spirits got wild and were forced to... Well... I'm not pointing the finger, but this is crazy suspicious. I think you're pointing the finger, Daisy. I hear you, Daisy, but I just know it's not his fault. I've seen this moment before, or something close to it. I feel we can trust him. Wait, was your vision about today? Already? Okay, well, this kind of talk always goes over my head, but if you say he's fine, I can drop this for now. So what's the plan? I leave tonight for Norica. Tonight? Why are we in such a hurry? Norica's on the other side of the world. What's the worst thing that can happen if we wait before leaving? If you want to stay, you can. I don't want to put you at risk. We have someone to meet, and to do so, we must leave at once. Hey, what kind of wimpy guardian pixie would I be if I let you leave alone? I may be in over my head, but I'm not quite sure I understand that, and I'm not quite sure I understand that vision of yours, but I'm coming with you, and that's final. With you, with you around, I'll be much more confident. Thank you, Daisy. And you? I know this is a lot to ask, but will you accompany in my journey? There's a lot that we do not yet know about each other, but our meeting, I don't think it was a coincidence. What do you say? You will accompany me? Thank you. Oh, look at this guy. Excellent. It is done. She will be pleased. Oh, brilliant. She made some dark, she made some little forest sprites angry. How terrifying. What a stunning display of power. You would be best served by showing her the respect and honor she is accorded. Or need I remind you of the tenuousness of your position? What a surprise. One word against her and her loyal pile of rocks doggedly barks. If she's so wonderful, why's she got us all the way out here? You know very well the purpose of our journey. One aspect of our mission has been accomplished and her influence has been made manifest. But more is needed. Now cease your bickering, and stay the course if you wish to return to the Everdark. Fine. Let's head back, then. We've been gone long enough. Perhaps we have. Hey, Asui. Adam Eve, but a fairy. Well, I like Adam Eve. We, we can take Adam Eve as a fairy. Nagata... 
Nagato o Valley, the Traveler's Path. It's the safest road out of Galwagan Plains, or at least it should be. We can never be sure after what just happened. H hey, we've dealt with these th those things back there, so it can't be that bad, right? Yeah, there probably isn't anything to seriously worry about, but still, let's keep our guard up. We've never been here before. Y you know me, always at the ready, no matter what. You want to recruit the sassy dark elf? Well, I believe you're in luck if the previous demo is anything to go by. <laughs> in the previous demo, she was part of our army. That's what I like to hear. Let's brave this together, okay? Stick with me and I'll protect you, Daisy. Not to mention our new friend over there. You're right. I can't let him upstage me as your guardian, Pixie. Huzzah! See? That's more like it. Okay. Hey, listen. Let's go ahead and grab the flower. Increases dex luck by five for three turns. Oh, that seems pretty good. Particularly if you were like Iron Manning this game, that's uh less crit to have to deal with, presumably. Oh, we got tonics, too. Oh, interesting. Her So, these fairies, you really want to one-shot if you can. Because their avoid goes up if you, uh, if you don't. Was that a hey listen in my SRPG? It was indeed a hey listen. Okay, I, I was gonna say, I believe I can't double with these. The winds guide me. Okay, but you can't quite one shot either, so we'll 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 use our powers combined here. Hi, it's heroic. It is a lizard. I need to take a closer look at these wolves, actually. Because I was surprised that they were, um... Oh, so we're experiencing a slight bug, but I know how to fix this. I was warned of this bug. Um... You can see the, the critter disappeared, so all I have to do is restart the game. Um, so I'm going to do that uh, once we get back to player phase here. I hear voices up ahead. If they're attempting to leave the valley, they must be eliminated. None can be allowed to depart. Humph. If you have something to say, say it or be done. If you're too craven to speak your mind, then at least disguise your frustration. Never insult me like that again. As for my frustrations, weren't we supposed to return to the Everdark after our little excursion, Griff? Why the delays? Who cares if a few people stumble into some monsters in a valley? It doesn't get in the way of her plans. Our task has changed, Blade. Before we return, we must take care of these would-be meddlers. Our mistress would expect no less. Is that so? Are you sure there isn't another angle to this? Are you sure you're not playing at something? Speak plainly or be silent. Fine. You're trying to keep me away from the Everdark. And? Our mistress often demands we venture far afield from our lair. Surely this is not a surprise to you. Don't play coy. I know there's got to be a reason Bloodlust doesn't want me there. And I'm betting it has to do with why I was sent with a giant pile of rock on a reconnaissance mission. I was never supposed to come back from this alive, was I? So the weapon can think. Sadly, not enough that you would still consider a direct confrontation with me. Know that your place is forever under bloodless boot, and so is your sister's. That's it. We're done. I'm sick of your mistress, and I'm done being her pawn. I don't care if it costs me my life. I'll claw my sister back from her cold, dead hands. 
Griff kind of dilf coded. You cannot be. You. I have to give you a bonk. I must give you a bonk, Asui. You cannot be horny for the evil statue. <laughs> Pathetic. Bloodlust knew that your loyalty was tenuous. She was ken to your first thoughts of treason, Carrie, and your fate was sealed the moment you were sent here with me. If you are too weak to face me, meeting your end here is a form of mercy. Go on, finish me off then. I will not. You forfeited the right to a swift death when you turned against us. Yours shall be a traitor's death, in the mud, alone and forgotten, far away from your precious sister. I'm sorry, Aaron. There's a woman surrounded by monsters. We have to help her. Why would you think to help her? You heard what she said, and you know what she is. As soon as you heal her, she'll turn on you. We should stay safe. I'm sure she'll be safe. Yeah, let's go with that. She's hurt. She's alone. I will not leave her like this. I'll tend to her wounds myself if I have to, without your help. Stop! Hey, listen. Ah, uh, fine. Go do what you're gonna do. But I don't want to have to say I told you so. Stay safe or else. Why, why are you guys acting unwise for the golem? We have a perfectly pretty dark elf that we just... Oh, don't quit the game yet. That we just got. And you guys want to... Uh, and you guys want to be horny for the golem. Or the... Not the golem. The... Uh, why can't I think of the name of this particular creature? There was a Disney animated TV show for these. Gargoyle. That's the word I was looking for. Alright, I'm just going to relaunch the demo real quick and that's going to our, fix our little, uh, our little critter problem. All right, let me check out these dogs, because... All right, they have one, two range. They do magic damage, um, and they can't follow up. Okay, neat. Then we have some beetles. Let me at him. I'm serious. The winds guide me. Okay, so it seems like we want to get down there kind of ASAP. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, combat art so that we can keep Nayali moving towards our green unit here. Let's say, hypothetically, I want some gargoyle Lissy. Oh no, guys. Oh, pretty good level up. We like strength and speed. I love the little sounds the critters make. That's a whole lot of them. Nayeli, are you sure we can do this? Of course we can. We just have to hold out a little longer. Huh? More of them? This can't be. Hey, get back here, you little. Stop running. All I wanted to do is ask you to lead the way to Nana and the others. Huh? I guess you did. Thanks, little guy. Kidel, what are you doing here? I came to help, obviously. And now you're surrounded by monsters. Our hero. Bah! What a waste. Those, th those little things? That's no problem at all for the bold, the brave, Fireheart Kidel. Who's interested in a little show of force? Woo! Go get him, Kidel. Now you're talking. All right, Kidel. Time to show her what I can do. That's Cadell. Naeli and I have known him for a long time, and he's trying his best to look dependable, like a Labrador or something. 
Who would have thought that such a tiny scrawny boy would grow up into such an annoying meathead, huh? Anyways, if someone can't fight out of this messy situation, if someone can fight out of this messy situation, might as well be him. I really like Daisy. <laughs> Let me at him. him. Alright, let's uh, see what the deal is here. Oh, he's level 7? Is this... Uh... This is this guy's gonna be very helpful. He's level seven. He's got ten defense. This guy's this guy's gonna be our man for a minute here. He's got res. A little bit. When he's stronger than enemies, he gets more strength. Oh, he has shove. Oh, I love him. Oh, what's it? What's your deal? Are you a normal wolf? Ooh, but you ignore defense. Ah, but you don't have any might. Okay. That's kind of interesting. What combat arts do we have? Hey there! We are playing the Gales of Naeli demo. Uh, it's an upcoming SRPG by uh, the lovely Blind Coco Studios. Uh, and I'm very excited for it. I've uh, been looking forward to the new demo, so we're playing through it. No, the critters! Here, we'll fix that at the start the of next turn. Stick. Stick. Are you guys mostly on one range? Yeah. Only this guy isn't. So maybe I should have killed him with Cadell. That might have been a mistake not to. Yeah, that is strange, uh, Blind Coco, but hey, part of the benefits of, uh, of a demo, right? Get a, get a bunch of, uh, free play testing. <laughs> I'm bold, I'm brave, I'm huge is an incredible crit line. Let's get our critters fixed. No need to reset if I don't mind an invisible critter or two. I want to give it a, a couple tries. <laughs> you need advice for FE4? Alright. 
I do want to keep the focus on Gales, but I will give you I will give you this one tip. Leaf is good. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I want to keep this stream focused on uh, Gales. Not great. Oh, actually, this is a good opportunity to use our three range combat art. This is probably fine, but if he misses, it's a problem. So we can get him to under the rock. Yeah, combat arts are tied to specific weapons, correct? Oh, maybe not. Or only sometimes. All right, don't miss Cadell for your own health. Nice. <laughs> oh, you get experience for visiting houses? Over here. I gotta visit more houses. Oh, my heal has two range. I'm your man. Hey, Steve! The winds guide me. Man, I love shove. Uh, that being said, we're actually not going to have her attack. I didn't check to see if that was a, um, a stick or a fiery stick, but it's a fiery stick, so we do not want to attack him. Well, we do, but not yet. Because he would, uh, two-shot her. That sounds sick and something I want in an FE game. That's how I feel like half the time I talk to Blind Coco about this game. I'm going in. Um, one of my favorite things, which I mentioned a little bit earlier, and, and that we... Ooh, you can push in different directions. Hey, stay back! Neat. Um that we're not we're not going to use on this first playthrough at least is the modifier um that you can use for your game uh so you can like make your own challenge runs if you want it's great god damn it not me failing the demo um can i get down there in time Uh, obviously, we need to move faster than I did. Okay. Not great.
I see. So it's these, these are the problem wolves. So let's try and send Kidel to cut them off. And we'll just, uh, we're going to be a little bit more aggressive with, uh, Naeli and Lizard here. I think we're I think we're gonna be okay this time. Uh as long as Kidel is fine, because he's gonna have to do a lot of combat on this enemy phase. And by a lot I mean at least two. The best things in life come in small packages. Thankfully he's a beast. Bold, brave, and beautiful. You suggest I glance at the caves. Well, okay. They're like, uh, they're like towns. Okay. Send her go back to go have a look at that one. Stay still. You're hurt. I just need a moment to treat your wounds, okay? No. Let me die. He's a prick, but he's right. If I couldn't stop him, I'd be no good against that vile woman. Don't throw your life away. I heard what was said, and I know about your sister. You may not be able to save her by yourself, but you don't have to do it alone. You dare to bring her? Ugh. Fine. Do what you must. Thank you. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that line. So her name is Carrie, huh? And I guess she's tagging along for now. How could Naeli trust- How Naeli could trust her so quickly is beyond me. Fine, I'll tell you what I can gather. As a dark elf, she's pretty resistant to magic, especially at night. I know I wouldn't want to take her in a fight. She also looks deadly with those blades of hers, especially when it comes to dealing finishing blows to weakened targets. She probably has a cool name for this move, like Assassinate. Wait, are those smoke bombs? They can be used to escape dangerous situations or reposition herself at any time. That's so cool. Hm, maybe she's not that bad after all. Hi, Take Wing. Carrie's a mood. Carrie was one of my favorite units to use in the last demo. I'll make her pay. Uh, so I'm excited to use her again here. Alright, so we have a knife that ignores terrain defense. We have a dagger that hit multiple times. I believe daggers are brave by default. It says they're brave. So we'll see what the moon blades do. We're gonna I mean we're gonna go attack with them and see. Uh can anyone just open chests or do I need a key? I need lockpick. Fortunately, we have lockpick. Nope, don't quit. Let me just make sure she's not going to get, like, killed by these two fairies. 18, 18, or 12. 
I assume these are magic attacks. Oh, she's got so much res. I guess it makes sense that, uh... You give her high res and then you put her next to the, the magic damage. Nice little... Little tutorial for Carrie. Okay, she has Kanto. Increase res at night. Okay, that's why it's 16 right now, okay? Smoke bomb teleports up to three tiles away. So we could use that to go kill this fairy. Uh, however, uh, I'm burning up. um, we don't need to. Right, stay back. We've got a bunch of, a bunch of focus stacked up here. You see I have 100 crit there, that's because I spent a couple turns focusing. This burden is mine alone. Over here! I know the way. Bandages, grievous wounds. I believe Blind Coco can uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe those uh, bandages are for this game's version of permadeath. Uh, well, death, I guess. Uh, when a unit dies, they get injured. And then I believe, if I remember correctly, if they get injured again, then they, like, actually die. But you can use bandages to get rid of the injury. Oh, that was because of Tome Prey? What is Tome Prey? Prey makes the wielder and the target get auto crit if they don't have adjacent allies. Oh, was that a... Uh... Did the fairy He's have the that? Monster. Oh, the tome the fairy had was called Prey. Okay, what I'm learning here is I need to pay more attention to uh, the items enemies have, because that's pretty, uh, that's a pretty uh, crazy effect. Burning up? Alright, throw the wind spear on. Yeah. Anyone can complete the chapter? Nice. I'll make That's how Carrie do it. Phew! We managed to cross Nagata, uh, Nagata O Valley safe and sound. Aren't you glad I came to help? Huh, we would have been fine without your help. That's not true. I'm very glad you came to help, Kidel. That's not what you were saying earlier. Unless I misheard, of course. You definitely misheard that. You were just so busy trying to rescue that dark elf, so I... Wait a minute, where is she anyway? Um... Ah! Carrie, was it? That's a neat trick. Don't encourage her! Keep your encouragement. I don't need it. What were, you, what were you up to? I was scouting ahead. There's a fork in the road ahead. One path leads to a village and the other to a farm. Ooh, look who's helpful after all! Don't push it, Twinkle Toes. Come on, I was being nice. Pfft. Hey, don't flick me, I'm delicate. Hey, cut it out, you two. We should act like a team, right? Shut up, Kidel. Yeah, can it, big man. Well, at least they stopped fighting each other, if that's a start. Let's stretch our legs. We still have some time before we reach that crossroads. More walking? My legs can hardly keep up. You're not even using your legs. I said shut up, Kidel, for a reason. You simply don't understand how delicate I am. Lovely. After a while, the bickering becomes quite charming. In a way. I can't say I'm looking forward to it. 
This is the first branch of fate. You'll be prompted to alter this world's events by deciding the decisions that some characters make. These choices will affect character relationships, battle abilities, and in some cases, even their advanced class options. We'll be walking for a while. I should make the most of it and spend some of that time with someone, but who? Uh, Carrie, of course. Hey, Carrie, how's your arm feeling? It's fine. I see. That's good. So you're just gonna stand there like an idiot? I'd like to stay here a while, yes, if you'll have me. Why? I'm still trying to figure out that part myself. Reassuring. Do you miss the Everdark? Not really. Not what it's become. This vile woman. She's taken so much from my people. From me. I'm sorry. Don't be. You say you want to be a hero and save the day, right? Do that instead. What? It's plain to see. You're magnetic. People look up to you. You're nothing like me, so maybe you can... Ugh. Forget I said anything. Thanks for not letting me die out there. Carrie. And I'll save you again. You have my word. Okay, so that was like supports. Cool. Alright. We are gonna use our, um... Stat booster. Because... It's a demo. We should use the stat booster. Yeah, give the... Everything tonic over here. <laughs> Carry my beloved K. <laughs> Very accurate. Let's give Carrie all of this. Well, okay, we're not going to give her the magic stat booster. That seems pointless. But we'll give her the Oasis one. We'll give the magic one to me. Alright, let's check out this uh, conversations. None available. What, are, what is this side quest business? Open your nearby farmer with a pesky monster problem. Okay. So this is the place Carrie mentioned? Look who's being helpful now. That was one time. It's so easy to get you flustered. Anyway, I didn't actually expect us to come all the way over here. With the monsters around, I wanted to make sure the people were safe. And I've never seen a chicken in per- Oh! Is this- Is this the chicken? I've seen this chicken. I've come to say hi and witness Lizard being bad at more video games. Hey, waifu. I love how Carrie's ears move with her emotions. Yeah, it's cute. And I've never seen a chicken in person. How could a feathered bird be unable to fly? I simply must see. Should we really be visiting chickens? We've got quite a long journey ahead of us. You said so yourself. That's precisely why we should stop here. I want to know who I'm fighting to protect. I want to see everything that makes Yuvin beautiful. Meet its people, feathered or otherwise. Don't you? You know I'm weak to all that flowery speech. Alright, I yield. Let's go see some chickens. That's the spirit. What's all that noise? Are you with the guild? We are not. We're simply weary travelers looking to admire some chickens. Most other days it would have been much too late to go on a tour of the property. But today I'm in need of assistance. I sent word to the local mercenary guild, but I haven't heard from them yet. I've been hearing some worrying noises on the outskirts of my property as of late, and I fear that my most prized chickens will be attacked soon. We'll protect your chickens, no matter what. You have my word. That would be most appreciated. I scrounged up some gold for the guild, but if you deal with the monsters yourself, you can take it all. Oh, could you tell my sweet Remington to come back? He's got a heart of a mighty warrior, that one. He's probably going to try to defend the farm himself. Chicken protection? That's a change of pace. The chickens! 
defeat, Naeli or Lizard is defeated, or all of the chickens are defeated. <laughs> units. Uh, I think this actually looks okay. Stick, stick. Okay, two fiery sticks among them, but mostly melee. Look at all those chickens. Oh, I love Remington. Come look at Remington, Megan. Sorry, guys. I have to show my wife the chicken. Look at Remington. Does he, does he, fight? he has an attack. He's a, he's a green unit, though, so I don't know yet. Is he any good? We're, Is we're he gonna, a trainee? We're going to find out. Oh, and look at Beaky! He's so cute! Okay. Let us start the battle. The winds guide me. Talk to the chicken? Alright, let's talk to Remington. Bok? Wow, what a gorgeous creature. You must be Remington, the courageous chicken. Bok Bok! I know you want to protect the farm yourself, but we can handle it. You should head back to the coop with your friends. Bok? Bok Bok! A true hero stands up for his friends, huh? Hmm. If you truly want to help out, stay close. Who knows, we may be in need of the mighty Remington's power after all. Bok Bok! Bok Bok! He sure is a lively one. Oh, he's a blue unit now. All right, let's look at these skills. All right, so he's got increased move. Uh, he does well against bugs and reptiles. Um, of which there are several over here. We're gonna have to be a little careful with him though. He looks a little squishy, which makes sense. He's a level one chicken. Oh, let me uh, keep my eyes peeled. Is there a flower on this map? I don't think so. That's fine. I'm serious. So I think... We'll send Kidel over to deal with the right side. He very much is a trainee. Okay. Well, we're gonna this have to get we're gonna fight. have to get Remington some kills then. Right down here, these guys do magic damage. These guys do physical damage. I assume it's not. Um, she has five defense. How much damage do these guys do? Five. Oh, because they ignore defense. Correct. Yeah, so she'll take eight from them, but nothing from these guys. So yeah, this seems like an area we can send Carrie and she'll probably be okay. Uh, Remington, we are gonna try to get you a kill, but we're gonna hide you a little bit. Just keep you, keep you safe. Lizard really out here training a chicken. I will always train a chicken. If they put if they put a chicken in every game, I would always train it. You can't not train the chicken. Come on. Uh, this actually looks like we can just the the thing I'm trying to be a little careful of with Cadell is these fiery stick guys because his defense is pretty jamming, um, but his res is like a little low. So I want him to take these physical guys out, and then we can like have him take out the magic ones with some support from. Uh, from our good friend Daisy here. One step at a time. All right, Beatles have 13 attack. Remington has five defense. 
his attack is effective against bugs and reptiles. So he would do 8 damage, uh, 1.5 times that, so it would be 12. He cannot one-shot a beetle. That's fine. Uh, we'll take the beetle out with our magic. Remington OP. Remington's gonna be OP once we trade him, I believe. I have faith. Okay, maybe I should have checked how much damage carry was gonna do to the wolves. This is what I get for not doing math. Alright, I'm here. Where are the monsters from the letter? It's just my luck. Some other mercs have started fighting them already. I guess I'll just have to sneak in and start shooting stuff if there's any chance for me to get paid. How bothersome. Is that the mercenary they hired? He's carrying a bow which can be pretty handy, especially with those beetles or anything that flies for that matter. At a glance, he doesn't look like much of a people person, so you probably want to stay away from him while he concentrates on shooting. He looks like he's making an effort to look as annoying as possible, though. Oops, that's probably a little mean. Huh? Sorry. Alright, let's check out this new guy. You had Carrie Solo the right side. I think she's gonna be okay down here. I just, um, I should have checked how much damage the, the knives were gonna do. Um. Or we could, like, swap her with, um, Kidel would also be an option. these guys do what 10 damage yeah and she won't take anything from the fiery stick guys so that might be the move well we'll make use of uh some shoving strats as well i will be blaming any mathematical errors i make on the uh on the leave them to me the Drugs they put me on after the wisdom tooth removal the other day. So any math errors are actually not my fault. Twist my arm, why don't you? Alright, let's check what this guy does. Uh increases damage dealt by four if one ally or less is adjacent. Okay, so if he's not around too many people. Effective against flyers. Oh, he has a canto bow. That's cool. All right, and then he does something with watchtowers, which presumably will make sense to me once, uh, you know, once we see watchtowers. Lizard shot shying away from blame because of a mi minor inconvenience. They took a whole last tooth out. Give me a break, waifu. One step at a time. Yeah, the battle animations are sick. Um, I haven't been commenting on them as much because I saw them in the last demo, but they're pretty great. You are the filth beneath my boot. Ooh, you are the filth beneath my boot, she says. I like Carrie. <laughs> I'm gonna give that one to Remington, but you can have it, Carrie. Okay. 
hits, so we need to be a little careful. Um, because I don't think Lizard can take two more hits. Okay, these are the Fiery Stick guys. There's just two of them, right? And these are really the only ones that can put do a lot of damage to Kidel because his defense is 10. The Stick guys... These guys all have 10 attack. Besides the Fiery Stick ones. Okay, hold on. I gotta do some math. Okay. He has 10 defense. Relevant skills? Uh, not to this. Oh, and his resistance is... 4. Okay. So, from this guy, he would take 7. 10. 15. 22. So if he uses a healing item or gets... So if he gets healed, I can have him just fight all of these guys. And I think that would be okay. Over here. I'm your man. Alright, so we'll do the... Maybe overhead swing? Can we... With the heavy axe, does it kill? Yeah, baby! <laughs> the little lesbian that wants to see Carrie kill everything. Kill it. Carrie was, um... I had so much fun with Carrie in the last demo. I'm um, enjoying her in this one so far, too. I'm on it. Uh, but I need to be a little careful with her because I don't want her to die. Uh, you do 8 damage. Okay, so I gotta be a little careful because... Or no, Carrie's okay where she is. Because only the wolf can hit her. The wolf will do 8 damage. Um, or he could also hit Daisy. Both of them would be okay, though. So we're fine. Everything is fine. Um, as for these beetles, what are we looking at here? 13, 13, 15. Uh, so we don't want her getting hit by all of them, but she could get hit by one in the wolf and she would be okay. So maybe we like pop her here. Equip the Wind Spear. Remington can go here. We can use the Recon Bow so that we can move this guy out of Beetle range. I recommend I look at the farmland tiles. Okay, hold on. Ooh! Avoid defense and healing. That is useful. This is my fight. Um, oh dear, because Cadell has healing herbs. Yeah, Smoke Bomb seems really cool. I look forward to uh, to using one. I remember using one in the last demo to uh, grab a treasure chest. Ooh. Do you guys see what I see? Because I see a Remington kill. good. We take speed and magic. Uh, normally, I wouldn't be that excited about the, um, the magic level up, but um, we have a grindstone, so we can repair that wind sphere.
It's reminding me that I can save every player phase, and you know what? That's a good idea. <laughs> Is this a Remington kill? No. We'll get you a kill eventually, Remington. I appreciate you, Curtis. You've been very helpful this map. Yeah, the music is good. Hey, okay, so only thing is the beetle will be able to reach her. But it's just 15 pre-defense, so uh, she will not be jazzed about that, but it will not kill her. This burden is mine alone. And am I correct in assuming these guys basically do nothing to carry? Yeah. Harry has crit like three times on 5% since this chapter. We love to see it. Oh, I think Daisy's gonna be okay, but I did just realize that uh, I have created potential for her not to be okay. step at a time because what could happen is this guy could kill himself on Kidel and then this critter could take that spot and then hit Daisy and the, actually I think she would be okay because this guy is gonna do 14 damage to her um, and that guy would do oh no he has 11. It would not be okay. Okay, so it's possible we might have to go back to the save. We'll see. It depends um, what order the AI goes in. Oh. Oh my god, we're lucky. <laughs> I forgot to heal her. <laughs> Oh, that's true. I do have bandages. I'm in that... I'm in that, uh... I gotta get out of the... They can move on the trees? Oh, if Daisy's in danger. Oh, never mind. Daisy's fine. I think. Wait, is Daisy fine? I don't know. I don't know if Daisy's fine. Oh, he's going after the chicken. Okay, we lost the chicken. That's a bummer. But Daisy's fine. This burden is mine alone. All right, take it easy, waifu. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, can 
we do this without losing Come another back. chicken? Out of curiosity, Blind Coco, do you get anything for saving all of the chickens? You get a reward per chicken. Okay, neat. Oh, and you gave them individual names. Man, now I feel bad that the chicken died. Uh, what can we do to save the second chicken? beyond sacrificing a character, because as much as I would like to save the chickens, I'm not going to sacrifice a character to save the chickens. Let me at him. I lose a shotgun? Damn. Okay, in all seriousness, though, I actually like that, um, you know... We're playing... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can maybe save... No, no, because he has two range. Bye, chicken. Sorry. Um, I actually like that um, we've had one reset and um, we are not going to perfectly complete this side objective. Um, you know, we're playing on the hardest difficulty. That means there's, uh, you know, there's some challenge here. I like that. Typical man willing to let chicks die to avoid minor injury. But do you want to let Daisy die? Daisy was the one that was going to have to take the hit. <laughs> Twist my arm, why don't you? Okay, well, hold on. Let me check out what this pixie has going on. Or this dark fairy, sorry. Void basic dark magic. 15 attack. Okay, so that's some uh, some serious dark magic. Uh, this guy's got 15. So that's actually a problem if he gets hit by both. What if he... Um, 15. Yeah, we do need to avoid this guy getting hit by two things. So what I'd like to check... Is... If we do a combat art with the recon bow, do we still get our movement at the end? Uh, we're going to find out. Oh, actually, this has two to four range. One, two, three, four. We can even do it from here. Okay, we do still get the movement. Fantastic. Oh, but maybe he needs to be here because she has one, two range and she can get one, two, three, four. I, I wish I could check her thing without exiting the... I just want to know how much move she has. But I don't think I can go into it while I'm on this screen. Because if she has four, then she can go one, two, three, four. And she won't be able to hit the chicken. Um, but if she has five, she can hit the chicken. Uh, we're going to go here.
No, she only has four. And now, uh, now Curtis is in some pretty serious danger. Here, we can give Daisy a kill here. That's fun. This burden is mine alone. I will never stop fighting. Dark fucked up version of Daisy to reflect my Olivia. dark reality. All right. Hopefully Curtis will be okay. I think he has to dodge one though. We're so skilled, guys. Obviously, the risk was calculated. I'm going in. Hey, stick this monster. All right, here we'll give uh, Lizard a combat here. Take us home, Curtis. Never punish, no accountability. Look, I lost two chickens and I'm losing a shotgun for it. There's some Pretty accountability. Worth. No more, no less. That should be the last of them. Let's report back. I think that was all of them. And the little ones. Are they okay? We did what we could, but they didn't all make it. I'm so sorry. Oh no. That is a lot to take in. Don't get me wrong, I'm still glad that you could save some of them. Without you, they would all be gone. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Thank you very much for everything. We'll be on our way now. Stay safe out there. All right, I'm actually super jazzed about this physics staff, though. I was talking to someone the other day about how, like, it feels so good when you get your first physics staff. So I'm jazzed that we have one now. You! You feel like you can just walk in here like nothing happened and take part in our reward for picking up your slack? This is insane. Why am I being yelled at by a mosquito? I am not a mosquito. I am a beautiful pixie. You'd know that if you swept your greasy hair from your face. Hey, that was a little uncalled for, you little. What's going on over here? Ah, uh, finally someone with a head on her shoulders. What I was saying to that insect over there is simple. I've helped out with today's contract. I want a cut. It's as simple as that. I'll even sweeten the deal. Say, if you give me 250 gold, I'll stick around. No extra charges. Don't you dare hire this bum. He called me a mosquito. We're talking business over here. Shoo. Come on, what do you say? I mean, we kind of do need all the help we can get. You may have started off on the wrong foot, but you won't regret this, truly. This was quite the eventful day. You don't have to say that twice. I barely slept a wink. I've got straw in places you wouldn't believe. Where's your sense of whimsy, Daisy? We had a roof over our head. We saved some chicken. What's not to love? I'm afraid I don't share your fascination with chicken, Nayeli. Bark! Ah! Oh, it's Remington. But you're so far from the farm. Are you lost? Bark, 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 bark! You followed us all the way over here because you want to be a, you want to be a hero like us. That's so sweet, but they're going to be worried sick back at the farm, no? Bark, bark, bark. They agreed, but only because you would be safe alongside us, huh? Well, I'll feel much safer too now that we have the brave Remington by our side. Hey, Seventeen Master. Bark, bark. It's fine. I know you didn't mean to scare me like that.
Uh, okay. I got some new items. Let's trade them around where they belong. Or, uh, did they go to the convoy? Where'd our first healing staff go? Ah, here it is. Of course it's on Nayeli. Why did, why did I not assume it would be on Nayeli? Uh, Pebble. Okay, that's for Lizard. Stick? Do you use stick? Yes. Okay. Nayeli is so sweet. Yes. That's why she likes the chicken. Anybody that likes chicken that much is a, uh, is a friend of mine. Welcome to Sheringham, huh? Such a lovely sign for such a lifeless town, don't you think? It is rather eerie. Sheringham sounds just rustic and a little bumpkiny. And that's what this looks like. A cute but bumpkiny country town. You'd think these streets would be filled with people though. Weird. Speaking of the people, where are they? It's midday. Even some place like this should have people out and about by now. I've got a bad feeling about this. We should try and talk to the locals. You head to that big building down the street. I'll see if anyone's still out and about. Yeah, something isn't right. Let's go. This is a mess. You'd think the biggest place would be the nicest kept, but half the windows are smashed and... Quiet. Someone's here. How can you tell? Shoe patterns in the dust on the wood. Now hush. They probably already know we're here, though. Who goes there? Why won't you leave us alone? You've already taken everything from... Wait. You're not one of them. You're... Oh, blessings. You're the healing witch of the woods, are you not? You're finally here. You've heeded our call to assist the mayor. Apologies, but I don't know who this witch of the woods is. I'm Naeli of Gawaga tribe, from further north, and these are my friends. We're just passing by, but perhaps we can assist you in some way? I got excited. Sorry. Sorry. I'm a local here. Welcome to Sheringham, or what remains of it anyway. We sent word to the Witch of the Woods, who is a healer who often appears to tend to our ailments. I mistook you for her because, well, the mayor, he's... What's wrong? Did something happen to him? He was attacked. Stabbed. He tried to put an end to these recent kidnappings, but they wouldn't take no for an answer. I may not be the witch, but maybe we can still help. Daisy, do you have anything you can try? I'm on it. Can you take me to him? Uh, of course. Th thank you so very much. Right this way. That's... oh, that's bad. I'll see what I can do, but... Please, try whatever you can. Here goes nothing. The wound isn't closing up. I'm sorry, this is beyond me. Maybe the weapon was poisoned or magical. I'm stumped. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. Heads up, footsteps approaching. What's going on here? What are you doing with him? What are... We were just trying to... What are you doing here? Me? Uh... Oh no. Out! Everyone out! I need to stabilize him. We have to hope whatever you just did didn't make it worse. What's going on here? Miles, fill them in. You in the overalls. Bring me some wet towels. Give me space to work. You heard her. Let's give her some room. I'll recount my understanding of the situation outside. My apologies. She can be intense when the situation calls for it, and that certainly merited her full attention. First things first. Who are you? I'm Naeli, and these are my companions. We were just passing by. And you count a dark elf among your number? That's certainly interesting. Get lost, book boy. Huh. Point taken. Anyways, we were traveling through here when we noticed that the village seemed empty. We went inside and saw the mayor's wound, and then you found us. Now, are you finally going to tell us what's going on here? Brigands have been raiding villages in the eastern regions of Whaleshire more aggressively as of late. Bandits hassling towns and, sim and smaller settlements isn't unusual, even in stable times. It's a shame, but nothing new. What's different about these raids? These aren't your run-of-the-mill highwaymen. They're better organized, for one, but the real kicker is what they're taking. They're not so much after food and valuables. They've been targeting people with an affinity for magic. The mayor drew the line when they started taking children. That didn't go as planned for him, though. These monsters. I'll have her head. Kidnappers of children? Gross. I'd show them what I'm made of. Something isn't right. 
If their goal was to get rid of the mayor, there's more efficient ways to dispose of him aside from a slow death by poison, right? That is strange, yes. Perhaps they meant to posture to nearby villages? It's difficult to infer a motive at the moment. How about a question you can answer for a change? Who are you, anyway? Oh, right. I haven't got a chance to introduce myself. I'm Miles, recently qualified as an enchanter from the Brighthold College of Brillhaven. Uh, sort of. Brighthold? That Brighthold? How'd you even get admitted? That's a long story. Anyway, I traveled to Whaleshire after my graduation so I might learn and employ magical theory somewhere away from the city. After my arrival in Sheringham, the mayor requested I seek the Healing Witch. So I did, and here we are. And who's she exactly? She better have a damn good reason to blow me off. My healing skills are nothing to scoff at. I do not know her well myself. I had only known her from stories of her deeds, but I will tell you what I know. According to the locals, she appeared from the woods suddenly and has been helping nearby villagers with all sorts of medicines. All the while, she's been become, she has become something of a local hero, especially with the lack of healers following the brigand attacks. Hmm, makes sense. That man seemed to think I was that witch of the woods, so perhaps he mistook me for her. Truth be told, I could have mistaken, mistaken you for her, too. You bear a similar symbol to hers on your leg. Well, at least she seemed to be a competent healer. Unlike some people... Hey, are you implying I'm not? I'll show you competent. Of course not, Daisy. You're great, too. I'm sure you would have succeeded if you tried again. <laughs> well, that woman better keep that in mind the next time she needs healing in battle. Ho ho ho! I really struck gold, didn't I? Guess gutting the mayor was the right call. Now we got two healers to nab. Let's go get them! Bandits, they're here. It's a trap. We have to protect the Witch of the Woods. Get into positions, everyone. Okay, so uh, anyone that missed the, the last time we played this, this is the uh, map from the previous demo. Uh, which I had a very good time with, so I'm looking forward to playing it again here. Um, although if I remember correctly, I think this looks a little different. Let's see what we got. We got a mage over here. Some axe guys with 20 attack. Okay, pretty big offenses over here. Now I've got an extra hard carry to deploy a Remington the goat. So true! Reduces Void by 41 at max HP. Okay, so this is another one. Ideally, you want to you wanna kill him in one combat if you can, because then he gets a buff. Alright, let's do it. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, lass. Just walk away and no one gets hurt. <laughs> well, except those two, of course. Hey, what's all this commotion? Annabelle, the bandits, they're here. The townspeople are safe, but this is still a bad spot to be in. I faced worse odds and I'm still here, aren't I? We'll see this through. That's reassuring. However, if you're here, who's taking care of the mayor? He's in stable condition. Sleep and time are the only thing he needs now. We're glad to have your assistance. I will keep you and everyone else safe. Quite the fledgling hero, are you? And I shall do the same for you, Nayeli. You will not fall here. You just met Annabelle. She's a healer like me. She's also carrying a metal thingy. It looks dangerous. I don't like it. She's not stealing my spotlight, is she? And he said his name was Miles, correct? He's an enchanter. Neat. He can attack enemies with powerful elemental magic or enchant an ally's weapon. Enchanted weapons deal magical damage to enemies, which is useful against armored foes and opponents with lower magical resistance. Pretty nifty, huh? Alright, so let's look at these two units. Uh, first thing, Annabelle has a fucking gun. <laughs> um, she's also a healer. Uh, she's going to be very. She's going to be pretty useful to us on this map. We've also got Miles. Um, oh, this knowledge orb is sweet. Uh, extra experience. 
uh, and he has uh, exactly what they described, which is um, uh, an enchant. It buffs your magic stat and makes you deal magic damage with your uh, weapon attacks. Fine. I'm on it. Use this to repair any weapon or staff you have. Alright, we got a grindstone. Can Remington visit villages? You're with that scary dark elf, right? Take this gold and help us defend the village. Good job, Remington. Alright. If I remember correctly, we're going to get some help here in a minute. Let me at him. Let me at him. Anything good in the shop? Ooh, got a hand axe. Oh, he already has a hand axe. Uh, the first time I beat the boss... Uh, okay, so I played the last demo like four times. <laughs> um, I think I beat the boss on most of my attempts. Um, but there were there was at least one where I did the survive condition. Hey, listen! Ooh, how curious. Okay, let me just do some math to make sure this is going to be okay. You do 10 damage, you do 14. Naeli has 4 defense. So yes, she should be okay. Um, but let's equip, make sure the Wind Spear is equipped. The scroll was blessed by one of our lost healers. Please use its power to save them. Uh, I will send the grindstone to the convoy. Um, oh, can she not use this for heal staff? Oh, she doesn't have the... What are we, short on weapon rank? Yeah. What about Annabelle? Could she use it? Yes, she could. Um, is there anything else I wanted to do this turn? I don't think so. Sharif, look. Bandits. There are very many of them. I do not recognize the other combatants. These bandits have to be the same guys that took Ciara. That guy fits the description to the letter. Can't be a coincidence. I know you're always telling me to be careful. But this could be my best lead yet. And we have people here to help us take them down. There's no talking you out of this, it is there. No, sir, and I'll fight right and I'll fight without you if I have to. Sorry, mate. Thankfully you won't have to. You wouldn't last a day out there without my help anyway. Ouch. You wound me, Sharif. If I didn't know any better, I'd assume you disliked following me around. After all these years, it'd feel strange not to... Not having to watch your back while you jump into trouble. Let's jump back into it, then. Okay. Uh, let's see if this is the same from the last demo. Take care of this spear and go help your friend. Your father would have been proud of the man you've become. Love, Mom. Ma. Thank you. Okay, so if we had gone into this house with Flynn, uh, he would have gotten a PRF weapon instead. Uh, but let's look at these units. Uh, Sharif is pretty tanky, uh, and he takes even less damage when he's above 75% HP. And his Desert Great Spear helps him uh, make up for his low speed because it prevents him from getting doubled. Cool unit. It's going to be very helpful to us on this map. 
Flynn does more damage when he's not at full health. He can fl he gets the flowers? I didn't remember that he got the flowers. That's nice. Okay. Uh, we're not going to have him, like, attack here. I just want to see what these combat previews look like for him. Okay, so he cannot fight both of these guys, but he can fight one of them. Twist my arm, why don't you? Okay, so you added a few characters that can get the flowers. I'll make if I remember correct, he has some dialogue about flowers, right? Or am I misremembering that? I remember somebody had some dialogue about flowers uh, in the previous demo. I'm going in. What do you do against this guy? Not like amazing. They were moved. Okay, okay. So I, 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 so those have been moved, but yeah, he did in the previous demo. Cool. I'm a dummy. I just realized I'm kind of going to want to get um, carry off to the right because uh, that's where the treasure chest is. We're going to need her to open that for us. Pebble gives us defense. That's kind of nice. Pretty use Ember here though, because we'd really like to get a kill. You don't attack, right? You just buff. Yeah. I will never stop fighting. What's your move? Four. One, two, three, four. I want her to use um, far heal next turn, so we're gonna have Daisy hand it to her, and then she'll use it. You know, if you're gonna have a one stat level up, strength is the stat. I am Miles, the enchanter. I will never complain about a one stat level up if the one stat is Magical strength. <laughs> oh, huge dodge, Flynn. Nice work. I totally forgot that enemies can smoke bomb. Okay, she's just explaining, uh, villagers. Oh yeah, this is a cool thing. The, the boss buffs his allies if you stick around on this map. Uh, so the longer you're here for, the more dangerous it gets. Go! 
God, I love long range healing staves. It's so nice. Do we get any extra hit from this? Yeah, we do. Because I would really like to hit this guy. Uh, but if we're going to use the combat art anyway, then we can do it from here. Look, Daisy's got more important things to do than heal. She's got to go pick flowers. I've got your back. Question is really how much damage can she really do? Sharif can do 18. So I believe the wooden bow will do. Ooh! Curtis got kind of a slick animation. Reef does too. I know the way. All right, so you're on three speed. Kind of want to kill this uh, staff guy if we can, because he's just gonna keep buffing his teammates until we do. This is my fight. and then assassinate. Magic is higher than your strength, so it seems like most of the time you would like to be enchanted. Enchantment. Sharif is awesome. I remember him being a very important part of my uh Fine. I'm on it. Strategy last time I played this map. And it looks like I've that will continue to be the case. That being said, we're gonna let Flynn take this kill because he's got the better hit rate. that. So I'm going to be a little careful with this guy. I'm going in. Ends. 
me just check. Can you just, like, kill this guy? Ooh, you probably can with an enchant. I am Miles, the enchanter. Magical might. Maybe. Yeah, that gets you there. Uh, let's do our far heal now. Uh, that way, if you miss, you don't die. Oh, I didn't see this harpy up there. Uh, like Sharif, maybe head back and help out with that a bit. They're tougher than they look. Where are the reinforcements that flying freak promised us? These damn walls are trouble. We can't get them all at once. Alright, we are gonna save now because I believe we have just a turn or two before uh, shit's kind of gonna get real, so to speak. I'm your man. Oh, actually, I bet he can just kill this guy. Yeah. Hey, Alexander. How's this game been so far? I am having a blast with this game so far. I'll set things right. my arm, why don't you? You kill this guy with the combat art. No. But you can recon and then you can kind of uh, do a little hit and run on this mage. I am Miles, the Enchanter. Enchantment. I suppose with Lizard we should just keep focusing. Dodge Curtis. No, that's okay. That's why we made a battle save. the other enemy that could hit her. Oh, I must have not had this guy highlighted. Is one of my units a chicken? Sure is. This is Remington. Uh, 
okay. And that's fine. This time we will just uh, not make that mistake. Here we can this skip is through my some of these fight. animations since we already saw them. I can help. Okay. I'll set things right. So you go here. All right, you go here where you can actually only be hit by one enemy. Magical might. He's the brave and mighty chicken. Look, he has chicken scratch. He has plus one move. Everything you want out of a unit. And let's go ahead and get this uh, chill thumb handed over to uh, Lizard. Can't forget. We cannot forget an entire side of the map. Twist my arm, why don't you? Yeah, flying to uh, the our chicken is the complete package. Everything you could want out of a unit, this chicken has. <laughs> the strongest unit in most early, uh, SRPGs is the early game flyer. You guys just wait for my uh, Gales of Naeli tier list with Remington in the S tier. Ah, uh, here he is. Make way for death. This is my fight. Let me at him. Um, okay. Where am I needed? Can we manage this mage? She does 13. Ah, this gets us there. Everybody thinks they're tough till the healer pulls out the Glock. Right, let's grab this flower. How troublesome. Oh, you're fine, Curtis. Stop complaining. Stand behind me. So this time, this actually is a safe square. Yeah, get her, or get him, carry. Oh my goodness, I didn't think Carrie was going to be in range of two enemies! I, I forget that archers are uh, more than two range. That's okay, it's a learning process. I can help. Uh, let me check, is that going to be a problem? She's on five defense. Take 11 here. Eight here. No, she should be okay.
enchant the chicken. Might. I've got your back. Alright, now we really don't have to worry about it. Carrie's just gonna dodge anyway. See, this is why Carrie's the goat. Look at Remington's growths. Can I see growth rates in game? Hi, Megan. We recruited the chicken. He's the he's the trainee. Makes sense. Let's look at the growths. Uh... Oh, his dex growth is good. The question is, what are the skills? That's the real question. I feel like there's probably a juicy skill in there. Let me at him. Unless this is just like Blind Coco's elaborate prank to get me to train a chicken for no reason. The chicken promotes. Okay, I must... Or, I mean, you're not going to tell me, right? But I really want to know what the uh, chicken promotes into. I'm here to help. Okay, this guy's move isn't that high, so we're fine. We can kill this guy and then uh, get everybody's butts back there to help deal with the uh, our lovely knight. Oh, damn, Curtis, can you just kill these guys? Curtis kind of cooking. Quit wasting my time. <laughs> I'm gonna get Coco to leak it to Viet and then leak it to the world, ruin our friendship. And you would be doing God's work because I need to know. My Curtis is speed. I mean, how blessed could he be? He's only gained like one, two levels. Or oh, are we past turn? S oh, yeah, we're past turn seven, so he's got his buff now. Oh, is that the skill that's giving him the... I see, so that's why he's fast and doing hella damage. Blind Coco, what does Primes do? Phones. 
look at Flynn's uh, arts. Okay. Ah, okay, so it's like a mark, and then there are other skills that care about the enemy being marked. That's cool. I'm into it. Do combat arts work with my focus? Is this, uh, is this gonna double? Because we're max focused right now. Well, here, you know what? We literally just saved. We can find out if we, if we, if it does not work the way that I want it to, then we'll just get fucked up and we'll go back to the save. <laughs> path, path, make way, death, path, make death. Okay, so it doesn't work on the combat art. Uh, which means Lizard is probably going to die. <laughs> but that's okay. This is how we learn. This is my fight. Have Sharif I'm on it. Uh, block up this area I've here. Uh, although I think we're going to be going back to the safe because, like I said, I am uh, fairly certain that. Uh... Oh, Daisy! Let's go, Daisy! Let's go! Most deserved level up of all time. my arm, why don't you? How are we doing on uh, time? 14 turns. It is turn 9. Okay, so if I want to kill the boss, I gotta, I gotta start getting my, uh, getting myself over there. This point, it's probably just a, a job for Cadell if he can get there in time. Does guy have a hand axe? No. This burden is my uh, We're gonna own. send Carry over to uh, because we just got a chest key. Um, so we're gonna have these guys try to handle the chest I'm on this side. Help.
we set up a kill for Remington? Uh, it's tough. He doesn't do much damage. Enchanted. But I really want to get him a kill. Okay, okay, okay. We can get him a kill. We can get him a kill. Enchant. Enchant is going to be our golden ticket to leveling Remington. Oh my god, the animations! The animations! Ooh, does he attack twice before the enemy attacks? Is Chicken Scratch like a brave attack? Yeah, two attacks. Alright, that's good to know. That's, uh, that's gonna be a difference maker. Chess key, right? I left that on you. Yeah. Lead the way. I can send him down to help out uh Cadell. Ooh, this guy's kind of bulky, huh? waiting around. I'll get my hands dirty this time. Oh, now he's going to start moving, right? I'll make her pay. Does this game offer any significant change to the FE formula? Uh, I would say so. Um... Just off the top of my head, effectiveness obviously works differently. Um, Lead the way. We've got a bunch of unique skills. Uh, the flowers and villages, which I, are like in FE, but frankly, they don't really do them that much anymore. Uh, archers are three arch. range. There's a bunch of cool combat arts and uh, like weapons with special effects. We have a chicken. Fire Emblem never gave me a chicken. Where am I needed? Uh, healing stabs at base are two range, which is kind of nice. I'm, I'm digging that. I am Miles. Every unit has a unique promotion? I actually didn't realize that. That's exciting. Alright, what's your attack? 25. Ah, but your accuracy is limited. Okay. So you can't kill Naeli in one hit. Can you do it? Can she kill you in two, I guess, is the real question. Because you have three speed. She has eight speed, so she'll double you. With the wooden spear equipped, she has 15. You have 7 defense, so I think it's okay. Oh yeah, also, we, we didn't take a look at this. Um, but we can have a look at the supports here. 
Um, I think they're pretty cool. <laughs> uh, you can see uh, kind of the, the unique thing here is the split here you can see with Carrie, right? Where my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, Blind Coco, is that basically we can do these first two supports and then there's a branch where we can do uh, like kind of a platonic route for the support or a romantic route for the support, uh, which I think is pretty neat. You do 25, so it's going to be 25 less 4 is 21, so we do need to use the healing herbs. Lead the way. I'm your man. Oh, nice. The boss is walking the way I want him to be walking. Let's check this guy. He's got 26 attack. Plus with a hand axe. Um, so if we, like, put Fidel here, he'll come hit him with the hand axe. And he will do how much damage? 21. Minus 10. He'll hit him for 11. And we'll hit back for... We'll hit back for 10. And then I think between Flynn and him, they can probably kill him next turn. Uh, we'll lose out on a treasure, which is kind of sad, but... Yeah, Harpies are a cool enemy type to be in this game, to be honest. Um, it's like, I'm trying to think... Twist my um, arm, why don't you? What's the last game I've played that had harpies in it? I don't know if I can think of one off the top of my head. Actually, I don't know if this counts, but I've been playing a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh lately. That game's got harpies. <laughs> Let's go, Remington! Hey, listen! I know the way. Where am I needed?
Hand over your gold and scram if you want to live. What are you still doing here? Ugh, that line usually works. I miscalculated a little bit because I thought I was at uh, max range. Uh, but I must not have been. So he used the heavy axe instead of the hand axe. Uh, which might change things. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, Curtis has low-key been huge uh, in this demo playthrough. Curtis has put in a lot of work for us. If you don't catch that sealer soon, I'll gut your pay in half. Get out there. I've got All right. Back. Let's see what we got here. What's our most damaging? Wild Edge. Okay, and that gets us 10. What do we get if we just attack? Do you double them? No. Okay. Oh, actually, Wind Edge is our, our best option here. Oh, this little man's got quite the scowl now. What's your problem? Where are you taking them? What makes you think I'll indulge you with an answer? I wouldn't be as good at my job as I am if I... If and I gave out industry secrets willy-nilly. Secrets? My sister. Where is she? I take a lot of sisters, fella. Mums, too. You have any idea how little that narrows it down? You'll have to be more specific. Auburn hair, about this tall. Looks a bit like me face-wise. You took her a couple weeks ago. Where? Oh, that one. She fetched a pretty penny. Shame to sell her off, but that's what I was hired to do, and I don't betray gold, you know. They put her on a boat to who knows where, and I don't care to know more. One less brat for me to deal with. A boat, huh? That's a good enough start. Now I think it's time you hurry up and die. Alright, we're about to kill this guy. Um, let me just make sure... How reliably can we do it? I'm curious. Alright, so the baseline is 72. Can we do better than 72? Yes. Uh, but we might as well, like, farm a little experience, right? Oh, whoa, hold on. I gotta open the treasure chest. That was the whole reason I came down here. Warp! Warp! Very exciting. Six range warp. All right, pretty good. They'll take us home. Game's over, we got yeah, warp. Actually, I think game's over because we're near the end of the demo. <laughs> boss? Ugh, the boss is down. Scatter, everyone. I, I think the town is safe. The bandits, you've driven them off. Thank you so much. Is the mayor is the mayor all right? He should make a full recovery with how I left him, but I'll give him another look over before I leave. And you can use grindstones on the warp step, but don't tell anyone I said that. Very good. Thank you sincerely. All of you. If there's anything this village can do to help you, any of you, please just say the word. 
No problem, little man. We'll always have your back. All right, yeah, go us. Ready to move on? I'd say so. We'll do a final round of the village for supplies, and then we'll be on our way. Wait, I'm curious, Nayeli. What are your plans? Where are you going next? Well, my next plan was for us to head up, to head over to Norica, given who we're looking for. The winds will guide us, I'm sure. An interesting guide indeed. Perhaps your winds would be so kind as to accommodate for an additional travel companion? I happen to have business in Nara myself, or in Nara myself, so I think it's rather serendipitous that we met up. I don't see any reason why you can't join us if we're all going the same way. Does anyone have any objections? She's fine by me. I'll be able to really go all out with that extra support. Huh! I, could, I couldn't care less either way. Then welcome aboard. We'll be leaving after a rest, so take the time to gather and prepare what you need. Lady Annabelle, you're leaving so soon? Indeed I am. My services are needed in Norica. Norica, huh? I'm up for it. For that, you'd need a boat as well as a captain who's just unhinged enough to agree to that ride. More likely than not, you'll find one in San Camaraco, which you can get to through the pass at Fort Laramore. My thoughts exactly. It spits you out right into the valley, and there's plenty of ways further east from here. Seems like a perfectly workable route. Thanks, Annabelle. I've traveled quite a bit in my time, and I'm glad to be of assistance. Hey, hold up. Hmm? Oh, you helped us against the bandits, right? Right on. I knew I'd make a lasting impression. This is Sharif. He's one of my oldest friends. We've been mercenary comrades for years now. It's a pleasure to meet you. You have our thanks for helping us protect our home. Think nothing of it. If I can't stand up to petty thieves in Lumica, I couldn't stand a chance against the true evils that await me in Norica. Oh, and speaking of which, I should probably get going now. There's much to be done before we leave. Our time together was brief, but I'm glad to have met you. Hmm, so you're heading to Norica? This may seem a bit crazy, but do you mind if we come with? It would be quite a shame to cut our time together so short. Well, if you're searching for a way to Norica, same as the rest of us, I can't see any reason not to invite you along. I'll tell the others, but I'm sure there won't be any complaints from them either. You're both very skilled fighters. I think you're laying it on a bit thick with the pretty boy act. Ouch, that stings, Sharif. I'll have you know my appreciation for the finer pleasures in life does not affect my search. You should liven up a little. We just set our sights halfway across the world. Might as well enjoy ourselves along the way. That's what she would want wherever she is right now. You're trying to smooth talk your way out of this sermon, too. I see right through you. Ha! <laughs> Guilty as charged. Stop clowning around and pack up your bags. We've got a long road ahead of us. I'm with you until the end. We'll find her. Thanks, Sharif. I mean it. You. Your carrier, are you not? My, my. You're quite the difficult one to find around here, aren't you? What's it to you? Hmm. Out with it. Stop staring. Oh, my apologies, it's nothing. Just checking up on you, making sure you feel you're safe, making sure you're safe. Great, just what I needed. Another weirdo's attention. Perfect. Oh, Kiki, that's not what I meant at all. Oh, how time flies. I should be going now. I do hope we can talk again in the future, though. Kiki? Alright, I believe we're at the end of the demo? It said demo end there. Yep. Alright, so that was the new Gales of Naeli demo. I had a very good time with it. And something that I think bodes well, beyond what I've talked about already. Um, we played on the highest difficulty, and I did not have a perfect run of any map. Um, we reset once on Chapter 2. Um, we did not save all the chickens in the in the side quest, uh, and we failed to get a chest on the defense map, um, and that's pretty cool. Um, oh, I can compare KOs. Oh, let's see if we can look at that. Manage units. How do I compare KOs? Status maybe. Ah, KOs eleven battles fifteen. KO's 18, battles 31. Let's see, who had the most? Alright, Cadell's in the lead. I think it's probably going to be Cadell. Uh, 
Um, I knew the last map was going to be fun because this was the map from the last demo, and I had fun with that as well. Uh, so my mouse wheel is totally cooked right now. Look, uh, so this is me. I'm going to scroll down with my mouse wheel, and you're going to see what happens. See how it goes back up randomly? I need to get a new one. But that's why I was doing it like that. Um, I enjoyed the writing. It was nice this time in the previous demo. We got dropped right into the the, the middle of that last chapter. So um, it, was, it was a little difficult to get too much of a sense for the characters. But in this one, we got, you know, kind of that whole early game progression. So it was nice to get to meet everyone. Um... This remains my most anticipated SRPG at the moment. I'm super excited for the full release. Uh, I'm probably going to play the demo a few more times because I want to try it with the different classes. I want to try it with the gameplay modifiers. Uh, I want to go get Flynn's PRF weapon instead of Sharif's and see what that's like. Uh, so I really recommend the demo. I had a great time with it. Um, if you look in the video description, you will find a link to where you can download the demo. Uh, and I would recommend it. Uh, I think it's worth your time. I think you'll enjoy it. But that's going to be it for me for tonight. Thank you, everyone else. Uh, thank you, everyone, so much for hanging out. It was nice talking to you. Uh, I hope you try the demo, and I hope you have a lovely weekend.